Hello everyone, let's solve the second problem from weekly contest 335 Kth largest sum in a binary tree You are given the root of a binary tree and a positive integer k The level sum in the tree is the sum of the values of the nodes that, that are on the same level Return the kth largest level sum in the tree, not necessarily distinct If there are fewer than k levels in the tree, return minus 1 Note that two nodes are on the same level if they have the same distance from the root So, what we are supposed to do is Find the level sums. This is one level, sum is 5. This is one level, sum is 9 plus 8, 17. This is one level, sum is 10, 11, 12, 13. And this is the last level, sum is 10. Kth largest, that is the second largest. What is the second largest? 13. Okay, so this is our answer. Similarly, here, first level, sum is 1. Uh, second level, level sum is 2. Third level, level sum is 3. Largest, k equal to 1, that means the largest, that is 3 itself, return 3. This problem is a mixture of binary tree level order traversal and the kth largest element in a array. Let's say there are problems already available on lead code. Okay. So if you know these problems, then this problem is a piece of cake. Okay. So let's see what we are going to do. We are going to perform a BFS, right? Or a level order traversal. Okay. And at each level, we are going to take the sum. Very simple. At this level, sum would be 5, 17, 13. And 10 and in order to take the get the kth largest or kth smallest element or sum or anything what do we use for that purpose we use a priority queue right or kth largest we use a min heap and for kth smallest we use a max heap right so in this case we need to find the kth largest right so we use a min heap okay so let's do this we'll have a priority queue now let's put this sum one by one into our min heap. We put 5. Okay. Then we put 17. Okay. Then we put 13. Now, as soon as the size of our heap becomes greater than k, we'll pop the topmost element. Okay. If you if you have done that problem, k the largest, k the smallest element uh, in a sequence using this min heap or max heap approach, you will definitely understand what I am doing. Okay. We pop this. Then we have 10. We add it. Since size of our heap has become greater than 2, we again pop this. Okay, so at the end we are left with this. Fine. Now at the end we will return the topmost element. Okay, that is 13. Now there is one more thing. If there are lesser than k levels in the tree, return minus 1. So let's say our k was given as uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, let's say 5. Okay, so in that case we will have to return minus 1. Now how are we going to address that situation? We will also keep a variable level. Okay, that would track the levels that we are going to. At the end, if we see that the last level that we have re reached is less than k, that means that level doesn't exist. So in that case, we will return minus 1. Okay. So this is the solution for uh, our BFS or level order traversal. We uh, initialize a queue. We add the root node into our queue. Then we initialize a min heap for our purpose, right? And a variable level. Okay. So while our queue is not empty, get the size. Okay. Now size is 1. We are at the first level. Okay. We have popped out the first root node right okay and long level sum is zero this will compute our sum of our particular levels okay so this is the pretty much standard way of doing a level order traversal p node curve equals to q dot pole and we add that node value into the level sum okay if left and right child are not empty then we add them to our queue now after that we add that level sum to our mean heap Okay, now if the size of our mean heap becomes greater than k, then we pop the topmost element. Just exactly what we did here. Okay, so this will go on and at the end, we will have our level, right? Which will have the maximum level that we could reach. And if in case it's lesser than k, then th that means k level doesn't exist. So we return minus one. Otherwise, we return the topmost element in our priority queue. That is the kth largest sum. Fine. Accepted. The time complexity of our solution will be we go of n, right? That is the uh, general time complexity of any tree traversal, right? Let's say n is the number of nodes, but at each traversal, we are adding and popping elements from our min heap, right? And that would be a big log of k. Why log k? Because the size of our min heap uh, is at max going to be k because we are not letting more than k elements stay in our heap, okay? This is the time complexity and our space complexity is 
we go of n plus k what is n number of nodes in the tree because that are being stored in the queue right and a k for this heap right so yeah this is all about this problem if you like this video do hit the like button share this video and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video Bye bye